can you tell us a little bit about how things changed for you when you started eating organic? Um, well, first of all, when we, when we first went gluten-free, which obviously is not organic, it's still cutting out a lot of glyphosate. And my kids mm -hmm. said five words the first day, and they were nonverbal. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and they just continue to add words. And I wholeheartedly believe that it doesn't have to do with the gluten, that it has to do more with cutting out the chemicals, you know? And so then I yes. think my last one, my third one, he is, uh, I mean, he was, I was gluten-free, gluten-free, dairy-free and organic, even when I was nursing. So he has been kind of, he, he's the only neurotypical one that I have at this point. Right. And I, I really believe that that's why. I mean, did you, did you vaccinate as well? Not the third one. The first two had very minimal vaccines, mm -hmm. um, but after I saw the second one, that my, my son, after he was vaccinated, that's when we saw a regression. And with my daughter, it was instant. It was like immediately, but with my son, it was after, actually we were really careful with diet until we thought we were out of the woods. And then we're like, oh, we're fine. Well, we can vaccinate and we can um, be a little more lax on, you know, what he's eating. And he just slipped away. Oh, so sorry. So he's, you know, we're, we're doing biomed and we're doing a bunch of things. So they're, they're coming back. But it's interesting that the LDI for chemicals, we did, I don't know if you know what LDI is, but we no, did. No, what is that? It's a low-dose immunotherapy. Okay. It's, People are having a lot of success in autism with it. And um, we did that. And like, <laughs> I mean, chemical is definitely a trigger for him because the next day he just like, he was back for like three days. He was like connected. He was like talking like crazy.